a quick look back to Christmas past as we get started today on this year's decorating. Hey, this is Becca. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I can't believe it's time to say this again, but welcome to the kickoff of my holiday decorating series. Starting here in our kitchen. In years past, I've started in the family room with the mantle or the tree, but this year I thought it'd be fun to switch it up a little bit and start in the heart of our home. We're gonna do the shelves and counters today. I've got quite a mess back there. Then we'll come back and do the tree and a quick and easy DIY project that I've never done before, but it looks pretty fun and one that you might want to try as well. My goal this year is to fill our kitchen with lots of Christmas whimsy, gingerbread, Santa, houses, and lots and lots of traditional holiday color. Let's start right here in this corner. I'll do the shelves first and then work my way down. Here's some of the items that will be making their way up onto the shelves. We've got regular plates and mugs, glasses, plaid bowls, those are from Dollar General, Santa mugs in various sizes, aren't those precious? Bottle brush trees, whoops, bottle brush trees, mini trees, those are from Ikea, and these fun little nesting houses. The shell's done, now I can do something with the peg rack. I love having one of these in the kitchen. It's just a fun little piece to style. First thing I'm gonna do is go in with these Christmas tree dish towels that I shared last week in my decor haul. I'm gonna hang one on each end. And then in the middle, I'm gonna go in with just a plain white one. I like how the white ties in with the white and the Christmas trees, but I won't leave it that way. To give it a little pop, I'm gonna layer this adorable gingerbread oven mitt in front of it. And then on the two empty hooks, I have these mugs. I found these at Pier One maybe 10 years ago. I'm just gonna add one there. And one right there. So now I have my Santa on the shelves and the gingerbread down below. It's feeling mighty festive. Now I want to create a little vignette for the back corner, but I can't style it back there because of the cabinet. 
So we'll just put it together here and then just push it back there. And in my haul last week, I shared this dish towel and also how I like to use them to anchor a vignette. So I'm just gonna just push it there for now. And then I'm gonna start with this larger canister. And what I like to do is I want it to look like snow. So that's going to involve a little bit of sugar that I had on hand, Epsom salt, and little snowflakes. First one of the sugar. And I'll level that out. And then we're gonna add, whoop, oh gosh, the Epsom salt. Let me get that big old block out of there. It looks like a snowball. And I'll stir that up. But what the Epsom salt does is it just adds this little layer of sparkle. I'll work all those through. Now I'm adding just a little bit of snow. These are just little snowflakes that I found at Dollar General. And then to it, I'm gonna add pieces that I added to this same canister last year, just because I love them. It's these really cute gingerbread trees and they've got a little sparkle to them. And matching house. I found these at Michael's maybe five years ago, but I just love having them here in the kitchen and this one lights up too. Let's see, it might have to go down a little bit more. No, I think we're okay. All right, so that one's done. And here's the next canister. I went ahead and just repeated the process. Now to this one, I'm just gonna add some cookie cutters. We've got a white one, a little green mitten, and a red candy cane. All right, had to do a little shifting. Now I'm gonna bring in this cake stand. And then I have these really cute faux gingerbread cookies that I got a couple of years ago. They've kind of yellowed a little bit, so I need to get my white paint out. And some of them are a little, you can see, some are white, some are a little have faded or yellowed, but I'm just gonna lay them on here. I will probably mix in real ones, so. I'll leave a little bit of room for them. And then I'll just put the little dome on top. So now I've got it back in the corner where I need it. I'll probably go back in and add fairy lights. But the last thing for now that I'll add is a little bit of this, it's this garland that I found at a little shop in Conway, South Carolina maybe 12 or 15 years ago. But all I'm gonna do, it used to be in one long strip. I've cut it up and I just, I like to wrap it. Well, actually, let's put that one up there. I just put it right on the lid of anything. Let me find a smaller. I'll drape that one there. And then do that one there and pray that the cats don't mess with it. It's just a fun little touch, whoop. Making our way on around. In years past, I've had a mirror above the cooktop and I've hung a wreath. So I wanna switch it up this year. And if you joined me last week for my haul, you saw that I purchased this cutie. And I know it's large, but I think I'm gonna hang out with Santa every night while I cook. And then over to the left of the cooktop, I brought in another canister to tie in with the one on the right and just filled it with a little forest of bottle brush trees and one little gingerbread man. And then beside it, I found this little container at, I believe Target, had a lid, but 
I took the lid off and instead of using it for like sugar or flour, I'm just going to add in some uten or utensils, like my Christmas spatulas. Here's one with a little gingerbread girl. Um, I believe this one's from Dollar General. I wish you a Merry Christmas. That one's with um, little berries. Let's just put them all in there. And then for more whimsy, look at this adorable little sign that I found at Hobby Lobby. Now I don't wanna add a nail here. I'll go back and add one if I need to, but I've stuck some command tape behind here. So let me just see if this will stick without having to add a nail. Now, while I will be adding a wreath up there, I have to find it first. I don't know where I hung it. It's down in our storage room. But I wanna do something to the cabinet fronts. Last year I hung wreaths, but this year I found something else. Let me show you. How adorable are these oversized ornaments? Got them at Hobby Lobby. They were $9, but we got them for 50% off. I love their size. I added ribbon up at the top, and I'm gonna layer these in front of our cabinets. Here is the before. There they are hung up. I think they're so fun. They add just that little something to the cabinets. I found the wreath, added candy picks. Those will tie in with what we'll be doing over on the tree in the next video. With that done, now we can add a little something to that cabinet. And to the cabinets, I'm going to add, I hope you can see that, a couple of these larger houses there and the other one diagonally across from it and then to the other little sections I've got more vintage Santa mugs those two are the same size and then I have this one hope you can see that winking he's smaller so I can layer him right on top All right, friends, I feel like we're at a good stopping point for today. I truly appreciate you hanging out with me as I get started decorating our house for Christmas. I'll be back in a couple of days so that we can finish this room. We have two trees to decorate in here, the other side of the kitchen, and a fun vignette on the island. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.